Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I'm here today to um, start a new little journal um, for Halloween. And I'm just gonna do this little one. And I got this um, lovely little Tim Holtz binder from my friend Lee. Hi Lee, thank you so much. I'm using your little binder you sent. Um, and you can order these on Amazon. They're just small. Let me measure it for you real quick so you can get an idea if you haven't seen them before. Gotta get my pages straight in here. Okay, it is about five by seven. So that's easy, five by seven. Move that all the way. And I've started to make a few pages. I'm mostly gonna be using Tim Holtz paper. I have this one, I'm not sure what this one is called, but there's the, the number there, if that helps. And then I'm using this, just a few little um, kind of ephemera pieces out of that one. And the Tim Holtz departed. So just kind of a random mix of those. And then I'm also using um, a lot of my spooky digital downloads. So I have like, this is from my spooky times, which is kind of all a uh, 1920s sort of inspired. It has these costumed ladies and then these pages like this. These are all shrunk down. I shrunk them down so that I could use them in this. And somebody was asking me about um, digitals. And when you, this is from my spooky times. When you buy them, um, like in America, they're on A5 paper and overseas they're A4. So depending on who's buying them, they're either gonna be a little small or a little big, that kind of thing. Um, I can't really change that on my end, but because I'd have to make like a whole nother uh, digital for that to make it in A4, but you can get um, different apps and things where it, that allow you to print different sizes. It just depends on your computer um, and your printer and all those kind of things. So it's kind of something that you have to look into if you're trying to figure out how to alter the size of your uh, digital downloads. So there's that. This is from my spooky stamps, and that's where these guys come from, like these ones. These ones have just been colored. And then I also have my spooky art dolls that I'll be using, and I shrunk all of these down. And I use um, print to size, I think I said that. So that's the app that I use is print to size. So anyway, there's that. All right, so I've all I've done is like this is, Oh, and this is Taylor Made Journals. I forgot to mention that. I am using her um, Halloween ephemera digital download. And I'll link all the stuff in the description box below this video. So um, a lot of the little pieces and things like these, this card here, those are all, this is from Taylor Made Journals. So I just made a little page of that. And this is my um, digital, the one that we looked at, the add-on to my industrial uh, digital download that's just good papers to back with and things like that because you can write on them and and all that so I just backed it with that and just put a little music up here and then there's this pocket uh, made out of Tim Holtz paper I cut these at I keep pulling out a different ruler but uh, it's almost four and a quarter by six and a half is what I cut the original piece of paper at. And then I took another piece of Tim Holtz paper and folded it, um, not quite in half, it's a little bit bigger than half. And you'll be able to see um, this side is a little longer than this side. So on this side of the page, I made a pocket there. And then when you turn the page, the other, the flap that comes over is a pocket here that I put a tag in and used one of my art dolls. And that, so that just goes in there. And then on top of that, I added just another, this is just a scrap paper that I had. I just glued top along the edge and down here and put a thumb notch to make a little tuck spot there. Because these Tim Holtz papers, you can't really write on the back because they're pretty bright, but they're so cool that I don't wanna like cover it with a piece of coffee dye paper. So I added a little journaling card there. This is from my Spooky Times digital download. And again, it shrunk down. So remember, um, these cards will be bigger at full size. And then this is a piece of coffee dyed paper that I've just put a little um, 
collage there. This is from my spooky stamps. It comes with all those little tags that say like Hocus Pocus or um, 31 or October 31st, you know, just all different little uh, tags that you can add to things. And I did shrink those down too. And then this is from TaylorMade Journals, both of these pieces. So that just goes in there for writing space. I was trying to add some writing space because like I said, the Tim Holtz papers, you can't really write on the back of. And then this piece of Tim Holtz paper, I just um, folded the bottom up and made, you know, a little tuck right there. And then uh, this side, did I add this one on? I'm trying to see if I folded it or added it. I can't tell. I added it. <laughs> so it's just another piece of Tim Holtz paper that I also fold folded the bottom up on. And I think it was all one uh, sheet of Tim Holtz paper. Um, I'm using the 8x8 uh, paper pad. Folded it up, thumb, notch, thumb notched over here so that this could be a little tuck. And then I just glued here along there and down at the bottom. And I put the eyelets in after. I glued it all down. Then there's this from Taylor Made Journals. I added my October 31st from my uh, Spooky Stamps Digital. And then it's just writing space. There. So that is what I've done so far. And I saw a couple other things I wanted to do for these pockets and we'll do more pockets. It's just, that's as far as I got. So I have this Undertaker's Funeral and Funeral Director's Journal. I bet that was a great read, right? <laughs> but I backed it with coffee dyed paper. And then on the front, I thought it would be fun to maybe put one of my little spooky stamp guys. And then this little ghost that is also from my spooky stamps. just because I felt like that needed something else. I mean, that's fun. I like the top the best out of that. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a good day. It's Sunday for me. I usually have this video done on Friday, but I didn't get that far last week. So we kind of were had busyness happening as always. And we went to my daughter's um, band was playing at the football game. The homecoming yesterday so we went to that that was super duper fun and if you follow me on instagram there's a picture of my husband and i there and then also a picture of the stadium with the band on the field so that was super fun to go do and then the day before my son's band was marching at the high school for homecoming so we went and watched him too so it was a good weekend got to see them both do their thing so that was fun. So we've just been busy, busy, busy. So I think that's really all I'm gonna add to that one. It's a nice little journaling card and I'm gonna put that one behind here. He gets kind of tucked away, but that's okay. You get to see him when he pops out, right? All right, so then I thought it would be kind of fun because there's also this little card in here that's like a Halloween greeting and this is in my a spooky times digital download and I added this little flag that also comes with that kit and again it's been shrunk down um it talks about that the witch will come and chase you round and round your town that whole thing so I just thought it'd be fun to put a witch right here even though there's a witch on the card so I've got my art doll and I have some sparkly tool in orange and I had a piece of um, what do you call that stuff? <laughs> Cheesecloth. Oh my goodness. But I don't know what I did with it. So let me grab something else. Oh, there it is. I did have it down. It was in the basket that I got the tool out of. So yeah, what are you guys up to? Do you have any good Halloween projects in the mix? I know some people don't do anything for Halloween and I understand that. Um, I just think it's fun. I like the fun part of it. I'm not into the gore or any of that. So like, and any of you that follow me know that. So I kind of like this more of a silly version. I just like to do these fun little things. Because I've always kind of liked Halloween that just had good memories. I enjoyed being a child and trick-or-treating and doing all that, so... 
and I just put these art dolls together like I've been doing with a lot of the art dolls from the kits but you can mix and match the heads to different um, costumes and things like that so this actually reminds me a lot of costumes from when we were kids because we would just dig stuff out of the closet any old crazy thing and put different things together and you know like maybe wear a witch hat or whatever so that's kind of what that art doll reminds me of and then the one with the ghost in here is just silly. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, I just like the funner, funner version. All right, so I have this card that needs something. Um, I'm really not sure what I wanted to do on that one, but I do have another one. Oh, and I used, uh, Fern uh, sent me the things, the die cuts that cut out the ticket stamps from Tim Holtz. And so I stamped on some of his paper the ticket and then cut it out with the die cut and it's it those turn out really cool so I'll probably tuck those in pockets and things but I have this uh Polaroid photo and even though she doesn't fit perfectly I think I'm going to put her on there like she's not inside the picture area but I think it's fine you get the idea I didn't I could have like put it on and cut off the bottom but I just didn't want to do all that I like the whole image of her sitting on the pumpkin holding a pumpkin <laughs> it's just kind of funny and then one of my funny little drawn pumpkin heads on there so yeah it was such a beautiful day yesterday it is again today too just sunny and nice we were actually just roasting at the game I did feel bad for the band kids because they were out in this just beating sun <laughs> where they are in the stadium all day with their all their get up on and was like I'm going home to take a shower <laughs> afterwards uh, but it was fun it's always nice when you're not freezing at a at a game or a band anything it seems like we do a lot of that so okay and this little um like sign from my spooky times says pumpkin so i thought that was apropos right i'll add that right here So yeah, nothing real um, earth shaken today, but it I think it's fun to work with some of these uh, Halloween type items at this time of the year. Get us all in the festive Halloween mood that enjoy it anyway. could do a little bit of stencil or something on the back of that might be good. And I could do these just leaves lightly. Stamped ones. These are just Tim Holtz or Sampers Anonymous or whoever. I'll just do these lightly here and there. But like you could also use my um, stencil if you have it. Would be cute on the back of cards. Oopsie, that didn't look so good. I don't want to make it so dark that it you can't write on it, you know. So we'll just kind of do it like that very random and then she kind of pops out which is fun all right what do we want to do to this one don't really have a plan for that yet we can get a plan in a minute but let's do these first i was just going to put this down here and again these ones are tailor-made journals these little signs and things
I like to rough them up and make them look old. a little bit arsenic that's bad and then I'm gonna put this little bottle and this is actually in my uh, spooky art dolls digital there's all kinds of just little antique um, items images there on that digital as well that you could either like have one of the little art dolls holding or whatever but I'm just gonna put this here like it's the little poison bottle or something Although I think arsenic's actually a powder. I don't know. Who knows? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. And then that other one. What did I want? Oh, I think I was going to put this on this one. But then I changed my mind. So maybe we could put this one on here. That would work. And this is just out of that one paper pad that I showed you, the um, DCW B or whatever it is. It just has all kinds of random stuff in it. So I need to do the back of that too. Just do both these again. I might double stamp them so that they're not as dark because they were still pretty dark. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I keep getting just half. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fine. Probably just the bottom again. This one on here and it kind of needs a little something to go with it. I cut out all kinds of random things. Or I don't know that that really qualifies as horror, but <laughs> do trick-or-treat that would work it's a little cuter and I can punch the hole because I have an itty bitty hole punch which if you don't you can just even um, Fill it in with black or something like that. It always leaves one little spot that it doesn't punch off all the way. These tools, sometimes I'm telling you. Just put that in there in the little frame. This goes a lot faster if I make up these art dolls um, ahead of time, for sure. Because, you know, like cutting them out, figuring out which head you want to go with which body and all that can take a little bit. So it's good to get them all made up and then you can just decorate a much easier. I'm just gonna, because I did kind of go over right there. Of course I snagged the paper. All right, so that one can also go here. Just kind of poke it behind there. 
Okay, we're doing good. So we need to make another page. I'm not sure what kind of page I want to make, but let's see what we can do with some Tim Holtz paper. I really like these tickets though, the way they came out. Um, I think I want this one. Let me ink it and put it behind that. And you can't really like write on these or anything, but they're just, oh, this one you could with some, with a black pen. That would definitely work. They're just fun because of the colors and everything. So thank you, Fern. I'm using it. All right. What do we want to do for a page? Let's see. Kind of want to use. Um... I really like that colorful set of Tim Holtz. That's pretty cool. Especially with the oranges and all that. But these are cool too. It's that way. So let's see what we can do with this. I was trying to think of things to do. Um, you know, with like pockets and, and stuff like that. Because like I said, this one you could probably write on. But the other ones are a little dark. have things everywhere because my sister and I were both uh, cutting stuff out the other day. She was helping me. I love her. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> She's such a big help to me because, man, some days. So we decided this was how big for this page again. Um, that was just about six and a half. So keep wanting to make that upside down. So let's see. Actually, I do want it upside down for what I'm going to do. So I find six and a half. I'm going to just score all the way down. That's how I make the pocket that, you know, folds up or you can have them fold either way. I'm going to do a similar pocket to what I've already done. Let's see. Let's score it at, what is this one? Width-wise, about four and a quarter. And it doesn't have to be exactly that. Um, but yeah, I think that'll work well. Just to fold it this way. I always do the wrong, the hills and valleys thing. I'm just gonna go both ways. Okay. So that's an eight by eight sheet of paper. I think these are eight. I'm assuming. Oh, they're a little bit bigger than eight. What does it say on the? Oh, it says eight by eight, so I'm just not measuring it right. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my pockets to separate them, maybe. And you can take a tiny like sliver off if you want to, just to make sure that it's gonna um, fold up right. So I can have one pocket going this way and I can have the other pocket going that way if I want or vice versa. I think I'm going to do vice versa because I'm going to fold it so that most of the dark is on, wait, goes that way, is on the inside so that I get the light on the outside. And I'm going to punch it again and it'll go in the book this way this time instead of the other way <laughs> like that, like that one is there. So let me get my punch. Kind of discombobulated today. I don't know what my deal is. I was working away just fine, but right when I turn on the camera, I get all. What am I doing? Okay. So and then we're going to make this into a pocket. Like 
that. And then this is a pocket. So oh, I have to make sure this is the right size. Wait, before I do that, because last time I had to cut this shorter so this middle thumb notch isn't exactly in the middle and I probably should have have it even said that because you probably wouldn't have noticed but I had my pages too long and they hang out of the oh yeah that'll work okay they will hang out if even though it seems like that's a whole lot smaller when you get them to the center and close it see even still they're right there at the edge so that is something to be careful of when you're making pages for these little binders. You have to take those rings into account. So we didn't have a whole lot of waste with that because that's an eight by eight page. And just folded up the bottom and then folded, um, you know, the page, however, however big you want this pocket. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. It's, doesn't have to be super specific. Other than you want it to fit inside your binder, so that's something you have to figure out. Oh, we need to do the thumb notch. Yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing for a couple days and then I will get back to I'll still do Christmas on Friday but I figured I can probably fit in one of these little journals and then that way I feel like I got to have a little bit of the Halloween fun right <laughs> otherwise it's kind of a bummer So we're just gluing up the sides or you can go up the side of the pocket, however, which is probably smarter so you know how much glue. And then it's also going to become a pocket itself. So I'm going to put glue down this side. This side. Whoa. If you can glue in a straight line. It is kind of better to have the holes punched on this side over here rather than this side because it shortens your pocket up. But sometimes, you know, if you want some variation and you don't want all your pockets um, the exact same, then that's kind of just the way it works out. And plus, this is too wide to have the rings right here. You wouldn't be able to get anything in and out of there. So that's why I'm going to do the holes on this side on this one. So again, things to think about when you're using the binders. Okay. I'm going to take one of these pages out and use it as a template. You can make a template, like, specifically for it, but I just usually use you know, one of the, like the first page or whatever that I punched the holes in in the first place. Let's see, where's my, right in front of my nose. Okay. <laughs> Struggling today. And then I just put a little dot and that'll get punched right out. And I put it right in the center of, you know, the ring there. And then I have my handy dandy crocodile, which I'm super excited about. <laughs> and I went and ordered some more eyelets for it. Cause it does, it did come with a few. So thank you, thank you Fern. So kind of, kind of you. To send that to me and then I've got a couple of black ones there and they came with the uh, carpet out oh and I always forget you gotta like unlock it 
Okay, and then this is the larger hole punch here. I, I had not used one of these before, so that was a new experience, but they're pretty easy. I mean, I think if I'm using it right anyway. I mean, it squashes those like bing, no problem whatsoever. So very nice, I think, a very nice tool. Yes, that worked well. So now we have all kinds of pockets again to fill up. So this one's going the other direction. Be a little different. The eyelids are, do kind of fit on here a little bit strangely, but they it works. It's just a little little tighter than using just the hole punch, but I think it'll last better, obviously, because it's metal instead of these things, paper. Okay. So what do we want to put in there? Let's put this away first. Lock it. And those are We Are Memory Keepers, if you're not familiar, and it's called a crop a dial. All right. I don't think this one really goes because, it, I mean, it goes color-wise for sure, but it's got um, that rosy, oh my goodness. Uh, picture there, so oh, this bit because this is kind of cool. <laughs> That's a tailor made journals PCI. Yeah, I think we could just spectral illusions, we could just back that. I don't think I'm gonna um, make it any wider or anything. I'm just gonna back it with some tea dyed paper, coffee dyed paper, whatever you prefer. I think I actually have um, tea here because that's what I usually use. Sometimes I pour some coffee in with it, but just use whatever you like. You could use other dyed papers as well. A little bit smaller. I got glue on my hand. Okay. Leave everything out and then I wonder why I can't find anything. Oh, I was gonna put this guy with the witch like up here so there would be a little something up there. What else could we put with that? I just saw that sitting there and was like, oh yeah, let's do that real quick. These are the regular size of those little tags of mine. That would work. And those again come with the spooky stamps. So you're not gonna find them in my shop, just these by themselves. They come in that spooky stamps digital download if you're looking for them. Sorry, everybody's home too. Well, my daughter's not home, but my son and my husband are home. My daughter's at work, plus she has a dorm now, <laughs> so she's not here a whole lot. Okay. Just kind of do something like that. So yeah, you can probably hear the TV and everything going downstairs. I don't know, maybe not.
and you can um, obviously like put a brad through those you know those little brads if you want to or whatever I just don't want to add the bulk so I'm not going to but you definitely could if you wanted to do that okay back to this my focus needs more focus right Got all the tools out today. This is a really cool image, Lorna. She finds some pretty good stuff to use. I like to make these little just kind of quick booklet type things because they add more journaling space and they're just a simple little something but definitely gives you some more writing spots. I got this idea from Carol Laws. She does all kinds of these it's just a great idea. So thank you, Carol. And you could, you know, do some stamping in here if you had some cute Halloween stamps. I'll have to dig some more stuff out. I don't have all my junk out. I just decided I was going to do this real quick, so. Is that going to fit now? Barely, barely with the holes there. It's kind of tight. All right, I'm gonna put a little fun kind of decoration down there. And I'm not doing super ornate, you know, just kind of fun, quick stuff on this one. That's cute. All the little kids dressed like ghosts and they're carrying jack-o'-lanterns and all the black cats. <laughs> oh, it doesn't fit. It's a little too tall. So let's see what else. This one's will work. I just have a pile of all the stuff I cut out. Obviously, you can see that, but. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have anything there cut out. Spooky. Spooky would work. Just a little something. Oh, the cats would have probably worked too. Yeah, we can put those two down there. That will work. I like to wrinkle these up. These ones are printed on um, cardstock, which is white cardstock. But a lot of times I do print them on the um, parchment paper, which I usually use, but these ones I printed on cardstock. This is on parchment. And I use Southworth ivory parchment paper that you can get at pretty much any like office supply type place. Or I get mine on Amazon because I like the big boxes of 500 sheets since that's pretty much all I use when I make journals is the is that paper so I end up using it and I use it for a lot of my die cuts and um, you know all these things that I make I've just realized I don't want that hanging over the this part because that's that other pocket 
that cat's gonna get covered just ever so slightly. Son's getting ready for work, so you can probably hear him now. He got a new job. He starts uh, in about a week, I think. He's going to be working at Best Buy. So he's excited about that. That's kind of a better fit for him. You know, that's more what he's interested in. That kind of the computer side of it. So... Okay. It would look good in there. So yeah, I'm happy for him. It's awesome. I mean, he was kind of bummed to leave his current place because, you know, they do like it there. They have fun there. But um, this just was a better fit for him. I like this old peely paint. Do I have that on there? Couldn't really, well, I guess you could write on the back right there. And again, that's Taylor made journals there. Just want to make sure the people that want to know know <laughs> what I'm using. <laughs> If you don't care, I guess you can ignore me. <laughs> so we're going to go about three and a half, I think. I want this side because it's lighter. Three and a half. That'll give me a little extra around it. Let's see. Use this somewhere else. Going around the corners on that too. Um, ah, what was that called? I like the corners rounded, especially if you just kind of do a simple one like that, or it's just the, you know, those bits together, just those two pages, just a little more interesting. So these could go together pretty fast, as long as you, you know, I mean, of course you can make it as elaborate as you like. And I don't know if these uh, pages I'll keep in this exact order. I may mix them up a little bit just so that, because um, these ones are a different color, obviously, than these ones. But for now, I'm just trying to get enough pages to make it a journal. So they might not stay in the order they're in. Reminds me of Poe. <laughs> so it'll just still fit in there with the holes. Yeah. Yay. Ta da. Now, what are we going to put over here? A tag would be good. Mm -hmm. This wouldn't even be bad. A journaling card. I think I want to go with a tag. 
Maybe we'll use this side. For the decorative portion. insane today. He hasn't been home hardly for a few days, so she's just mugging him half to death. Which, you know, is okay for a bit, but then you just get to the end of your rope on it. I think I'm just going to do the rounded edges, and I might even put an eyelet in the top and tie a little fabric in there. I can't tell. I think it does go that way. <laughs> it's like, which way does this go? I think that little art doll was too short that I thought I would, might use. I might get to use a full size one on that. Or I could use a Tim Holtz person too. Or this lady. She would take up the whole thing though. That's from Tailor Made Journals. Oh, I like the witches. <clears throat> I'm just going to make this very eclectic. It's going to have all different styled stuff in it. I like the witches, they're cool. Okay, what else do they need? They need some ink, I know that. Everything needs ink, right? Well, I know not everybody agrees on that. But of course, don't ink if you don't like it. like the how it kind of frames things and I do this from the back because it's easier to get in all those little nooks and crannies without um, you know totally inking your <laughs> whole front of your piece to death I do usually put a little bit of color on them just so Okay, what do I want with that? I want something on there with them. That won't go. Black tool. That would probably work. I just need a little piece. I have a huge, huge, big old amount that's all wrinkly. But that's okay, because the wrinkles are going to give it some interest here. It's been used for dance costumes. It was one of those things I bought years ago when my daughter was doing dance, and it's been used for Halloween costumes, and it's just like the never-ending tool. <sighs> so, yeah, it's... I want it not to look all perfect. Yeah, I think that'll work once it gets stuck down, sort of. And I might have to go around it with, oh, let's ink this first. Um, What do you call it? I might stitch it, is what I'm trying to say, just to make sure it stays down. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday, or actually, by the time you see this, it will be Monday. Yeah, it's 
gonna be interesting to hold that down. I think I might use tacky glue on the back of the witches because they're probably what's gonna hold it down the best. And then I might have to do, you know, a stitch around the outside that way it will um, grab some of that too. It's always interesting with things that you can see through really well. You don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna see a whole bunch of glue or tape or whatever, obviously. But I like the, just the kind of effect of that. Just might take it a minute to work. Don't want glue on my witches. <laughs> no gluey witches. Yeah, we'll probably go eat at the restaurant with the kids tonight since it's going to be the last night. They'll both be working at the same time. Theron has one more shift, but um, Aiden won't work that day. So, bless you, son. So, yeah. Yeah, they've had a lot of turnover at, at their work, which is unfortunate, but that's kind of the way those jobs are. I remember that when I worked in a restaurant. It was, seemed like it was all the time. <laughs> and it's kind of just worse right now, as you all know, if you know anybody working in anywhere, really. <laughs> Everything's just kind of messed up at the moment. Nursing, teaching everywhere. At least in our area. I'm, I'm assuming it's kind of everywhere, but I can only speak for our area. This wants to wrinkle or fold funny, so I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna let it dry and see what happens. And then I do want to put an eyelet, eyelet in the top of that. Because I think that would be fun. Where did you set that? Put the cutter in front of it and couldn't see it. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and use a black one again. I'm going to be all out of black ones. I got some kind of antique color ones. I always want to put that in there to punch it and that doesn't work that way. I'm going to come down a bit. But these are very fun. Thank you for much easier. I do admit I haven't used a lot of eyelets because I don't like, you know, banging them in on my videos. Yeah, I don't think those ladies are gonna stick down, darn. Might have to put more glue and something heavy on top. Let's just put this bottle of paint for now in this. And we'll see what we get <laughs> in a while. Okay, now we need to add a little something at the bottom. I'll put that away later. Like down here. I'm gonna not have enough things going that direction, I can tell. Oh, the tickets are cool. One of the tickets would work. I really don't like spiders that much. I mean, 
I'm not really scared of them. I just don't love them. <laughs> I know that's kind of the whole thing, obviously, right? It's just not my fave. Old crow. Yeah, I printed some of these smaller, some bigger, so I kind of have all different sizes of these items, too, from um, TaylorMade Journals. So, there's her morning attire. Here's an old license plate. A rusty old license plate, and yeah, she looks better. I guess we'll just go with that. Put up. It's hard to see some of these tickets because I did. Um, stamp them on that Tim Holtz paper that's kind of very ornate, I guess. So they are a little tricky to see, but you can if, if you guys, um, I don't know if you can tell, but the ticket's definitely there. And I don't know why I'm using more art glitter glue today than I normally do. It's just whatever I feel like grabbing, I guess. <laughs> Some days I pretty much only use my glue stick, but not today. This one, sorry. Where did this weird little pumpkin face go? It's very odd. It's an old, like, antique uh, jack-o'-lantern. Um, the ones the kids carry. What are they called? The candy little... But it's an antique one, so it's very creepy looking. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it right down there. Okay. And if we can get a little piece of tool to put on our tag. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll try it. Ah, no. <laughs> it ripped off all the way down here. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my goodness, it's already been an hour. Just about. Not quite, but almost. I guess we're done after this. I think they are gonna stick. If not, I will revisit them with some glue. Oh wow, this is like may not work. I'm just gonna kinda do this type of thing. That's the good part about an eyelet, because you can kind of tug a little and don't have to worry about ripping the um, fabric, you know, tearing your tag. That always makes me a little nerve-wracked. Nerve Very nice, ladies. <laughs> and that's fine, because that'll hang out the top. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed a little Halloween fun. Oh, and I forgot to show you in this. Um, yeah, those are tricky on there. In here, there's just a couple little journaling cards from TaylorMade Journals. There's a, and it's backed with tea dyed paper, so they're a little thicker. Uh, tombs and monuments and a skeleton. <laughs> begging, <laughs> a begging skeleton. It's probably bad, but anyway, there we go. 
I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and tomorrow we might work on this again tomorrow and then Wednesday will be um CW planner so I will see you guys later love you guys bye now